Video images show the confrontation after three members of a dinner party of six were not allowed inside Carmine's restaurant on the Upper West Side because they reportedly failed to comply with the city's COVID rules by not showing proof of vaccination. Push came to shove. A hostess was allegedly struck, and police charged the three women with assault and disorderly conduct. With that, New York City as well took a hit. It's not representative of New York City. It is, I think, a blemish on New York City, particularly when we're all trying to go back to restaurants, restart our city. The restaurant denied accusations that the confrontation was racially motivated, claiming in a statement, three women brutally attacked our hosts without provocation. Their lawyers falsely and grossly misrepresented their acts of wanton violence in a cynical attempt to try to excuse the inexcusable. To back up its defense, Carmine's released what it called unaltered video without audio, refuting charges of racial slurs and actions. But the women's lawyer quickly asserted that the video was doctored, saying in a statement, what was originally reported as these three women fighting over not having proof of vaccine has morphed by Carmine's design into a random fight that had no provocation from their employee. Carmines has failed to release the full footage and continues their trend of sweeping their employees' racist and egregious behavior under the rug. The executive director of the New York City Hospitality Alliance, representing 25,000 restaurants throughout the city, says this is an isolated incident and is doing harm to the city's image. This incident is horrible. It sends a bad message, and it also has created tons of fear for our hardworking restaurant workers who are just trying to make a living and do their job. My hope is this is one incident, and it's going to be a learning moment to ensure that nothing like this happens again. While the incident triggered a protest by Black Lives Matter last night, the restaurant, which says the employees involved were people of color, has drawn support from many New Yorkers, including Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Lewa, who had dinner here with his wife. Going forward, the New York City Hospitality Alliance offers this advice to restaurant patrons. People are entitled to have their own opinion about vaccine requirements, but they must respect restaurant workers for trying to make a living and do their job, and they cannot put their hands on anyone. Now, the Hospitality Alliance is calling on the city to increase penalties for anyone found guilty of assaulting a restaurant worker. Now, despite calls from their attorney to drop all the charges, the three women remain charged with assault and disorderly, disorderly conduct, and they are awaiting their day in court. We're live on the Upper West Side. Marvin Scott, PIX11 News.